So someone figured that, yeah, these are 12 volts, but yeah, let's supply them with 16.5. That should be fine, right? We saved money on 7812 uh, regulator, and now we have the device that it can cause fires. Hello, friends. Welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going to take a look at the beautiful fire hazard from Pile. It's actually, until I discovered that, this was my favorite pile machine um it's got real power it's got functionalities uh, it, no hiss um working really well a lot of power but of course like with every pile device there's got to be one big design issue i counted four in this one but um only one that is actually pretty severe can cause a fire but if you don't mind fires, this can be available for purchase if you so desire. Let's take a look.
Alrighty, let's start with what's great about it, because it's not it's not a bad device actually. There's only four issues. Um, the main transformer, toroid, uh, so relatively efficient, uh, low noise and all that. It looks to me roughly around eight, maybe nine hundred watts of power from that you can pull from. From this transformer so more than enough to to deliver 600 watts to the six outputs active cooling it's well i have a note about that it's actually on the list of issues with it uh, but we do have active cooling and uh, the cooler pushes the air outside of the device or at least that is the intention it probably would have been better if 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 the fan was over here um, pushing the the air rather than from here because it just kind of disperses all that air everywhere around there's only one place where we have hot glue normally these uh, pile devices are you know held by hot glue and uh, zip ties we do have some zip ties here and there um, but it's all good we do have a 600 watts of uh, real power on the output so these are not uh, chinese watts these are real real watts and i actually managed to get as much as over 70 i think 72 watts on a single channel uh, so that would give us um, well, let's call it 150 watts um, on the uh, on the, the channel using a uh, four ohm speakers. It is perfectly capable of driving two ohm, four ohm, and obviously eight ohm speakers. And the heart of the device is pretty much the the same heart as all the all these devices have all the pile devices um the micro i assume it's a microchip microprocessor uh microcontroller um, but i don't know it definitely has built-in radio um so it only uh well that's actually bluetooth but uh, our radio antenna is this one um so I'm not sure, but if, if that one breaks, uh, there's, it's not repairable, unless you just replace it from another device. Other than that, it, anything other than this breaks, it's, it's completely repairable. So that's, that's what I love about these devices, actually. Um, it, the output stage is built on um, 5198 uh, Toshiba transistors, uh, allowing us to push about 10 amps, or at least continuous uh, collector uh, current, and it goes all the way up to 140 volts reliably. 
Uh, we obviously drive it on uh, 32 volts from the, uh, well, 32 plus 32. So around 60, um, 65 volts, call it, um, that we are supplying uh, the output stage with. Um, and is there anything? Well, the radio, radio works pretty well. Um, Obviously, the mo the, you get more power on the, these additional inputs over here, as opposed to um, um, catch some focus, as opposed to Bluetooth. And uh, this seems to be common for all the pile devices that I worked on. I, you don't get a lot of amplification. Well, you get amplification, obviously, and everything, but the input signal is so low that. Uh, you can get a lot more power from it when you deliver the power through the cable rather than Bluetooth. Uh, and that's probably because the um, maximum amplitude of the Bluetooth device is probably 3.2 volts, 3.3 volts. So that's uh, that's a pretty weak um, input signal. So obviously, you know, you can overdrive it. And uh, that is pretty much it. Obviously, the, the relays and um, we had three bridge rectifiers. Uh, usually on these devices, I only see one actually soldered and like a whole bunch of uh, missing, uh, missing capacitors. Speaking of capacitors, uh, this one has no missing capacitors on the 5 volt uh, regulator. And the regulator is on the heat sink. So it's a lot better than the previous one that had none of these and was missing the input capacitor. But it's the same thing. We're pushing about um, 30 volts on the input and uh, you know, and that supplies our entire five volt logic on this side. Uh, so yeah, it gets pretty hot. Um, but at least yeah, that's that's all good. And that's it when it comes to, I mean, it's awesome that it's six channels uh, and each channel can be, you know, controlled separately as far as volume goes. And you have a master volume over here and all the other, you know, stuff that comes with every, every pile device. Now let's move on to some issues that it has. So um, these two resistors should be this size. Not this size. Um, you can tell that by the box. This is the box that comes to these resistors, right? That indicates these resistors and the distance between the holes. These resistors should be installed here, not these. So they get fairly hot. Uh, this one dissipates, it's 100 ohms. It dissipates uh, 420 milliwatts. This one is 180 ohms and dissipates 270 milliwatts. So they get hot enough that I can't touch them. I mean, I can't hold my finger on them because it, it's burning me. Uh, so to me, that's um, a bit too much. So I would definitely replace them with these. That's not a huge issue though, because I've been testing it for about a week, maybe a little more, and uh, it didn't explode, so it's all good. Uh, what is an issue, and that's in my view is a big issue that I can't easily fix, um, are these relays uh, that are supplied uh, with 16 and a half volts. And these are 12 volts uh, relays. So someone figured that, yeah, these are 12 volts, but yeah, let's supply them with 16.5. That should be fine, right? Well, that results in uh, uh, relays heating up this and uh, hot and getting hot enough that it's burning my finger, literally burning my finger. I can't keep my finger longer on on this relay. So how long is that going to work? Probably not very long. And it's not like it's easy to to fix that. You know, we we saved money on 7812 uh, regulator, and now we have a device that it can cause fires. Um, ridiculous. So that's the main issue, number one. Uh, small issue, this cable over here, the data cable, uh, data cable, it, um, 
It controls the relays, gets uh, V plus, V minus, and the inputs for um, for these op amps. Op amps are 4558 standard, nothing to write home about. And that chip over there is just responsible for echo. It's an uh, audio processor. Um, but it's it's not great that uh, you know this this fan should be here and those cables should go you know at least on the on the previous device at least it had a little protection on it a little uh, uh, tube on it uh, to kind of so it doesn't touch the heatsink directly but here we figured ah uh, so what it's touching the heatsink heatsinks don't get hot right um, and the final issue with it there is no thermal feedback and so this uh, only reacts the fan only reacts to the input power so it only measures how much power are we delivering to the output stage and if it's higher than some uh, threshold we turn on the fan uh, not the best solution uh, I even because I couldn't believe it so I actually took the hot air and I turned on the device on low volume and no speakers and I, I heated up uh, the heat sink to 100 degrees and the fan did not go off so uh, and I don't see any thermal element on anywhere on the on the heat sink so I just wanted to absolutely make sure before I make a claim that it has no thermal feedback now I'm absolutely sure it does not so with these four issues it's still not a bad device I must say that uh, you know 600 watts in this little in this little box because uh, it's only the transformer that weighs a lot the rest is pretty light the device is not very big it's a great device if you are interested in taking the risk of uh, having a fire from these the link will be in the description of this video uh, to the eBay listing where you can purchase it if you so desire and with that my friends I thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next one